Hey everyone, I'm AJ Stockwell. I'm a licensed CPA and QuickBooks expert, and it has been a while since I've recorded a video for YouTube. And you'll see that I'm sitting in a different position. Usually you see me from over here, but right now you are seeing me facing my computer. And that's because I'm gonna be showing you how to do something in QuickBooks. Specifically, how to record receiving a PPP loan. So how to record getting that deposited into your bank account. And then I will also show you the process of recording the forgiveness of the PPP loan. So I'm gonna be showing this in QuickBooks Online. The process is very similar in QuickBooks Desktop, except QuickBooks Desktop looks completely different. But you'll be following the same steps of setting up an account in your chart of accounts, recording a deposit, and then the way that we record the forgiveness is also very similar. So let's dive into QuickBooks. So here is a QuickBooks Online file. This is the QuickBooks Online account that I use for my online training course that you can find over at learnbookkeepingtoday.com. I'm actually in the process of re-recording all of my training, getting it super up to date with the latest and greatest that QuickBooks Online has to offer. It is really important to me that I keep my course up to date. So the first thing that I want to show is the process of actually receiving that PPP loan. And first, what we need to do is create a new account in our chart of accounts. I should have positioned this a little bit better, but I'll zoom out. And to get to our chart of accounts, we go to accounting and the chart of accounts. And now what we need to do is create a new account for this PPP loan. We want to really track it on its own because of the unique nuances that it has in terms of being able to be forgiven. So I'll go to new and then the type is going to be long-term liability. There is a little bit of debate about whether you could set it as a current liability or a long-term liability, because if you're expecting it to be forgiven within the next year, then there's certainly an argument that it's a current liability. Remember that the difference between a current liability and a long-term liability is whether or not it's gonna be paid off within the next 12 months. Since technically a PPP loan doesn't have any payments for the next six months, and then it's a two-year repayment term, and we aren't absolutely positive when we first get it that it's gonna be forgiven, I am gonna set it up as a long-term liability. I'm gonna set the name as PPP loan, and then I will go ahead and save and close. Ideally, we would add an account number, right? But I'll just go ahead and save and close. So now as we scroll through, we see that we have this PPP loan account. So now we're ready to record that being deposited to our bank account. The way that we'll do that is to record a deposit. So we go to new transaction and choose bank deposit. We choose the account that it's being deposited into and the date of the deposit. And then we add the deposit details. So for received from, we'll set up the bank that we are getting the loan through. So I'll keep that as Chase. And for the account, we want to use that PPP loan account that we just created. We can give it a description such as PPP loan proceeds. And then if we want to fill out any of this payment method information or reference number, we can. Then we set the amount of the loan that's being deposited. So let's say that's $25,000. If we're happy with that deposit, then we go ahead and click save and close. Now looking again at our chart of accounts, what we'll see is the checking account balance is $25,000 higher. So previously I did have a negative balance in this account of somewhere around $1,800. And now you'll see that it is $25,000 higher than that because we recorded that deposit. You'll also see that down in our long-term liabilities, we have a $25,000 balance for the PPP loan. Now, if we were to go look at our balance sheet, so I will go over to reports and choose balance sheet and I'll set yeah, year to date is fine. 
we see that our bank account balance is $25,000 higher. And then in our liabilities section under long-term liabilities, we have a PPP loan of $25,000. This is because it is technically a loan. Even if we expect it to be forgiven, until that happens, we need to be carrying it as a liability on our books. Now, I've seen a lot of confusion around the process of recording expenses or payroll that you're paying out through PPP loan proceeds. People often ask me, how do I post it from this PPP loan account? How do I attribute it to the PPP loan? And the answer is that you don't actually necessarily need to do that because you are using your checking account balance or whatever bank account balance you put the PPP loan proceeds into, that's what you are paying those expenses out of. So you will just record your expenses and your payroll the way that you normally would. If you do wanna track which expenses will be eligible toward forgiveness, you could either set up a tag in QuickBooks Online for PPP, or you could include PPP somewhere in the memo or a line item description or something like that. And then later on, when you search your transactions or if you filter a report, you could look for that PPP tagging. Now let's fast forward a few months and let's say that it's time to apply for forgiveness. So you've gone ahead and filled out the application for forgiveness and you've submitted it to your bank who's submitted it to the SBA and you find out, good news, your entire loan is forgiven. So now what we want to do is get this $25,000 liability off of our balance sheet. How do we do that? Well, we need to set up another account. So I will go back to the chart of accounts. And technically, any loan forgiveness is income. So we need to set up a new account. And I'm actually going to use the other income type that way it shows it below our operating income because this isn't a normal source of income from operations. We don't want it posting in our revenue. We want it below operating income. So for the detail type, I will choose other miscellaneous income. And then we want to be very clear that this is PPP loan forgiveness. And the reason for that is because this should not be taxable this type of loan forgiveness shouldn't be taxable income to the company. So we wanna make sure that it's called out really well and that our tax accountant can see that this income is specifically from PPP loan forgiveness. I think there will probably be a specific line for it on the tax forms that indicates PPP loan forgiveness. So we just wanna make it really easy for our tax accountant. So when you've created that, we can go ahead and save and close. And now what we need to do is get that off of our balance sheet. And there are a couple of ways that we can do this. Probably the most common that people will use is a journal entry. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and create a journal entry. And this first account is going to be that PPP loan. So I'll choose the PPP loan from that long-term liability and we'll enter $25,000. And then for the next line, I'll do PPP loan forgiveness, also for $25,000. When you debit a liability, you reduce its balance, and when you credit an income account, it's a positive income. We can fill out the rest of this information if we want, if we wanna put something like forgiveness of PPP loan in the description and then I'll copy it down to the next line. We could put a name such as Chase or the SBA, something like that. And if we want a location or class, we can fill that out here. Now, what I'll do is go ahead and save and close this transaction. Now what you see is we still have that cash on our balance sheet, right? Because we didn't actually pay out that loan. We didn't pay it back but we see that our checking balance is unchanged. If we scroll down to our liabilities, we see that the PPP loan balance though is zero because that journal entry we just posted cleared it out. Let's go ahead and look at our P&L and our balance sheet. So first the balance sheet. If we look at our liability section, we see PPP loan is zero. 
And then if we go ahead and go back to reports and pull up our PL, we see a bunch of random transactions that I've posted for training purposes. And then at the very bottom below net operating income, we see this line for PPP loan forgiveness in other income. This is the way that we clear the PPP loan off of our balance sheet and get it off of our books after it's been forgiven. If we didn't get full forgiveness of the PPP loan, then we would just indicate the partial amount that was forgiven, and then we would continue carrying the liability for the rest on our balance sheet and pay it down as normal. So this was the process of recording that you received a PPP loan and that it is going into the liability section of your balance sheet. And then I showed you the process of recording its forgiveness later down the line. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already subscribed and go ahead and check out some of my other videos. I'm thinking about doing some more of these quick free QuickBooks training videos because I think that they're pretty helpful, especially during these crazy times.